Hi, today's problem is red-green color blindness is sex-linked uh, recessive trait in humans. Two people with normal color vision have a color blind son. What are the genotypes of the parents? And uh, you know from the uh, autosomal uh, disorders, genetic disorders, uh, where we have simple Mendelian genetics, parents should be heterozygous or genotype like uh, this in order for them to be phenotypically normal, but uh, also they can produce in the uh, next generation um, progeny that would be homozygous recessive or would possess these two recessive alleles that would lead to genetic disorder. For example, if we build a Punnett square, uh, we would see that uh, there is 25% chance for the autosomal genetic disorder uh, to be uh, expressed. So as you see here, this would be one quarter and 75% uh, as you see three out of four uh, phenotypically would be normal. And uh, two of them would be heterozygous, or we also can uh, call them carriers. So as long as uh, the parents also carriers, as you see, both of them phenotypically normal, but carry one recessive allele. And here in our problem uh, we have this genetic disorder that is sex linked, and picture would be different. For example, for the mother of the child to be phenotypically normal, uh, her genotype should be, uh, this is X chromosome, and uh, capital C would be uh, dominant allele, and small c would be recessive allele. So mother, in order to be phenotypically normal, should have at least one capital C, and uh, another uh, X chromosome can have... Uh, uh, recessive allele C. So phenotypically she would she going to be normal but she can pass this genetic uh, disorder this allele recessive allele to her progeny and this is not X chromosome this is a cross so we have to cross this phenotype or genotype with uh, male uh, genotype and we know that male has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So uh, as long as this male is phenotypically normal, that means that this X chromosome should have a capital C or normal allele. So how uh, these uh, two parents may have uh, affected child and here is how. Let us build a Punnett square. So here on the side would be genotype of the father that is uh, X capital C and Y and we cross with uh, genotype of the mother on the top and let's see what kind of genotypes and phenotypes you may get here so here would be X capital C X capital C and this would be normal female. In this cell would be uh, X, capital C, and Y. And this would be normal male. Here would be uh, X and capital C, and X and small c. So small c goes from uh, mother side, and this uh, normal uh, X chromosome would go from the father side. So this would be heterozygous daughter, but because this daughter has two X chromosomes and one would be with normal allele, the genotype and phenotype would be normal. Uh, genotype would be heterozygous, but phenotype would be normal. And here we would have uh, X, small c, and Y, and this would be male. So here would be females, one would be genotypically normal, both uh, X chromosomes would have uh, 
uh, normal alleles. Here would be genotype um, um, heterozygous. One allele would be recessive, but phenotype also would be normal. Here we would have normal male, and uh, this male here would be affected because only uh, one chromosome would be uh, with uh, recessive allele. So 50% of the males would be affected. This is the only way how two phenotypically normal parents would have affected a son uh, when genetic disorder is sex linked. So uh, here would be um, genotypes of the parents and now we can take a look which answer is correct. So answer A uh, here as you see female would be affected because both alleles are recessive and we told that mother and father is not affected and by the way father would be affected also the same here but father would be normal here uh, mother would have both uh, alleles that is normal and father's uh, phenotype would be affected because only single X chromosome uh, would have a recessive allele and such a cross would produce all um, heterozygous daughters whose uh, phenotype would be normal or they would be carriers and uh, they would produce uh, normal sons because uh, this uh, father would uh, give uh, to his sons only Y chromosome and mother would give whether this or this normal X chromosome so all the uh, progeny would be phenotypically normal and here uh, all the alleles are normal so um, such a cross is unable to produce affected uh, progeny with the sons or daughters and the only correct answer would be answer E and this is all for today thank you for your attention Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.